Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Glocka, and welcome back to more The Quarry. We're now in part two because you guys got the previous part to 2k likes. You guys are awesome, so thank you so much for that one. Itutuloy natin ang series, but again, same thing goes for this part. If this part gets to 2k likes, you guys get the next episode. But, anyways, we're now here with Jacob. Jake, kung tawagin ni sino to? To bring the song. <sighs> Jacob, go upstairs. Jacob, get bag. Caitlin moves on with her goddamn life. Okay, okay, bitch. All right. Super bossy. Caitlin, there you go. Bagay na bagay kay Brenda Song. May mga ganyang mga roles. Mga, mga mataray. Kahit sa, ano eh, sa sweet life with Jack and Cody, ganun din siya eh. Mataray na rich girl. But you know what? I'm sensing a bit of sexual tension between these two. Si Jacob, tapos si Caitlin. I don't know. Could be platonic, but mm, my, my hints, eh. Despite Jacob being dumped by Emma, the, the girl with the green uh, shirt or sweater, na yan. Tapos si Katie binubuli si, you know, si Jacob because of it. Parang, I don't know. She's giving me like Sundere vibes, but eh, we'll see. Don't spoil me with anything, guys. So I, just a hunch. Anyways, whoo boy. Before we go upstairs. I want to check this place out. We know what happened here. Ang tanong, ilang, ilang ano kaya? Ilang araw na nakalipas after everything. Can't even go in there. Okay. Hello. <clears throat> hey, what are you, uh, what are you listening to? Good to know. Jacob, you should disturb people when they have their earphones on. That's the whole reason why they have earphones on, Jacob. They don't want to listen or deal with other people. Diba? But then again, di ba ito yung kotse nung ano? This is weird. Ito yung kotse yung nakita nila, ano eh? Nila, sino yun? Nila Laura? Na nakapark? Hmm. Weird. Oh, so we saw a vision with Jacob, I think, with that with that car on fire. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, Jesus Christ! Hi. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, yan, um, yan. You know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan. Come it's on, broken. Dylan. Please. I can't. It's. it's I gotta get the last bags what's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just. Dylan, frozen. please. Sorry, bro. Man, cool. Jacob. Thanks, guys. Why are you friends with assholes? <laughs> Hello? Hackett's Quarry. Summer Camp. Established 1953. Mm -hmm. The camp clock. 70 years going. Very good. I want to investigate more. <gasps> There's a lake over there. Can I go to the lake? I don't want to go upstairs yet. After scanning the comment section, I wala naman ako spoilers, but some people told me that, Glauco, you missed a lot of clues, man. You should try and explore some more. Okay. I will, and the lake is closed. Oh, never mind. Ah, oh, litter. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, bit. Ah, Damn. You, spider fuck. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> exactly. I do not want to squash the spider. Do not. Okay. They belong in nature. Yeah, you better run. Yeah, you better run. But if if it was a cockroach though, I would I would smash the shit out of it. I'm friends with a lot of big spiders in my room. I haven't given them names yet. I don't want to get attached if ever I, I accidentally kill them. But spiders are cool. I love arachnids. So niyao pa di doon. Anything else here? I hope that spider helps me in the future, you know? Because I sa I spared its life. Oh, hey. It's gonna save me. Ours. You know? See? We can give this to Emma. Puta path chosen! So that means we're going for Emma. Okay lang. Emma seems cool. I don't want to have any relation or uh, romantic relationships with 
Caitlyn over here. So many red flags, man. Sounds toxic. I wonder what's killing the deer. Oh, gee, I wonder what. Oh, remember we ha uh, we saw like a deer carcass during Laura's run. I don't know that yung stronger makes me pain. Mm hmm. What doesn't kill you will make you what stronger. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood sign. Mm hmm. How weird, no? Yan pa yung nila. I don't like seeing the word kill. <laughs> For a summer camp slogan. That is a beautiful lake. Guys, stop getting around. Dipshit's bolted it? Really? What are you guys doing there? Probably icky stuff. Hello? You know. Kayo ba summer camp ba kayo? Have you guys been to summer camp? 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 Never experienced summer camp. Di uso sa Pinas yun eh. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. Same, dude. Yo, I'm liking Jake. He seems cool. In a non-asshole way. Pero titingnan na natin. Go here. Damn. It's a pretty huge cabin. Parang siyang guild hall, oh. It looks so small from the outside. Hello, bear. Okay. The catering pa sila. Oh man, summer camp looks fun. Keep out. Counselors only. Hello, Dylan. Oh, wait. Middle? Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you gonna help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! Hmm? <laughs> what? Why no? Weird. I mean, was it always like that? Even before? Kasi isang school bus yun eh, ng mga bata. So they weren't allowed to go upstairs to the attic or third floor or whatever. Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. What is wrong with your friends, Jacob? Are you guys actually friends? Tayo na mga tropa to ayaw magtulong. Meron. This place is dark. Can't go there. <sighs> One shit at a time. Sige, sige. A low fireplace. And this place needs a serious overhaul. Oh, huh? Jesus. <laughs> I remember that lodging cabin uh back in until dawn during the the last part. Parang ganito rin eh. For now. All right. Got the bags. Great. You're using your money on bugs, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. 
Oh my God, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. You're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Yeah, mind your own fucking business. Yeah, what about you? What's it to you, Caitlin? Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh, oh sorry. I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Oh. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> knew it. <laughs> Who said I was hiding that? I'm not. I'm just saying, oh. you know, I feel like if you really did like the guy, you would have made a move by now. <laughs> so she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing. Is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, oh. Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> uh, maybe I like it. Nah, I hate that. Mm, maybe it's just a fling. But maybe I did, maybe like brave. Oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a b stupid summer fling. What else did I think was gonna happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, <laughs> divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, grandkid, grandkid. A uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms, and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind of in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says, Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Oh, that seems legit. <laughs> Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you makes make you stronger. stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> <sighs> oh shit, this is the part. Uh, okay, so, um... Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, <laughs> you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome. I don't even know what out. the heck a rotary arm is. Jake. You do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Aww. Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. I thought it was the fling, Jake. Guess we'll just have to find out. No, Jake, don't, don't do it, man. Ah, oh, come on, man. You're gonna be an asshole here? Oh, sh I misjudged you, Jake. I thought you were cool, dude. Oh, I hate inconveniencing people. I'm pretty sure she she practiced that freaking <laughs> she practiced that freaking gag so many times. Mm, 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 mm. Break fuel line. I don't want to break anything. Because if you break something, you gotta fix it by replacing it. But if you steal something, you can just put it back. So between these two, I'm gonna steal the rotor arm, whatever that is. Probably, probably that brake looking thing. I mean, that belt looking thing. Jesus Christ. And if you break a fuel line, me, buddy. I think it's gonna. Right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Yon, I'm up. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, oh. dude, please. D d d Go long. Oh, Nick. 
Why are they such assholes? Boom! Oh, oh. there it is. Oh mm. man, good sign, mm. freak. Oh, oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks, mm. I'm surrounded by freaks. Mm. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have like charged up our phones like a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> You know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> that Unless, of is course, is through. being dumped an emergency. Ha <laughs> Ben. At least I got some. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, mm -hmm. damn, now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hope. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Mm -hmm. Look, I don't I don't even know how to respond to that. You say Nick, you're way smarter than me and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah. Keep German Junior. <laughs> I don't like his friends. They're too playful. Either that or they're super duper really good friends. 7.30 August 2022, Abigail. Um, I wasn't paying attention to the date, so I have no idea if they're like in the same day or not. Hmm. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. No, they joke now. See, sure. Yeah, top. Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. Then by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Uh, yeah, let's break in. Sure, why not? Okay, let's do it. We better not get into trouble. Oh, I won't we will. Won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. <laughs> Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three! Ugh. Damn, that was pretty easy. Okay. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Thought they were gonna kick it. Emma I is proud of you. Think it was a bear. Oh my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. I like this tandem. The goth girl and the bright and sunny girl. I think Emma has a, I mean, I think, uh, what's her name? What is your name, girl? Um, her name is Abigail. I think Abigail has a thing for Emma. I don't know, just a hunch. Just like my hunch between, uh, Jacob and Caitlin. That why would this place be in the news? Oh, I need what the fuck? Unabasa. A scrap from the local newspaper, the North Kill Gazette. It doesn't look recent, and something about a fire. Was it here at Hackett's Quarry? Oh, probably the the thing, the the, the circus. Oh shoot! I just leave it there. <laughs> Hello, anything else? Where are our bags? It, it ain't here. Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. Oh yeah. Have you guys watched any cartoon series back in the 90s or early 2000s? Kim Possible had like a summer camp episode. Aww. This was little Izzy's. I 
cute. Um, I will keep it. Let's get you back to Izzy. Yes. But what if by taking this stuffed toy, it's gonna make a noise when we get chased by a monster, and then it's gonna kill us, and then uh, <laughs> hello, putang ina, we broke in. Oh yeah, Emma took the bags. Okay, we good, we good. Let's go. Man, this place is beautiful. I don't hear any cars, just nature. Damn man, bakit hindi uso dito yung summer? Ano yun? Summer camp. Ang tawag dito sa Pinas, retreat. And we usually stay in like some kind of apartment building. It sucks. Uh, huh? Nani? Ano yun? Can't really... What? Evidence. Evidence. Everyone likes a scavenger hunt. Uh -huh. And at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. Uh -huh. There are secrets in these woods. Fun secrets that, should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. Wow. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence. And you may just prove your innocence. Or not. Okay. Good. See? It helps to explore. Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. Ano ba nangyari dun? Empty vial. Oh. Oh, don't smell that. What the? F Why would you smell that? What is that? Is it Dylan's? Why would you smell it? Why would you take a sniff of a random vial? You. You found on a tree, Jesus, that is ah could eat it. Emma and Jacob forever for uh yeah, for long. Okay, I'll be back. Probably the same vial the the cop used to uh inject something on their necks. Yeah. Anything else? Lucky, there's Emma. Information signpost. Hmm. Names of cities. God damn, this place is huge, man. I am not sure. Oh, they have a pool. Nice. Can't climb up. Baka pwede dito. Can I? Pwede. Oh, and it's locked. Sayang. Hey, if we're gonna spend an extra night here, this could be very important. We might get a pool episode. A night swimming episode. Ooh. I can imagine it now. Mm, very convenient. My Anatai, my golf caddy. Ready to roll? Um. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I don't know, man. Freaking Emma looks like a Karen to me. The heavy makeup and Time everything. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. Jesus, she sounds Aren't like one so too. so dramatic? Annoying. Exactly. Confident. <laughs> it's just acting. It's what the people want. No. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. Hey, fair point. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? Oh. You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Actually, it's not Nick. <gasps> Good whoa, babe. Whoa, whoa. Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Jinkies. Okay, so. Hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, mm -hmm. what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? It's actually really sweet. Who, Jacob? Why the you dumped his ass? 
Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. It's just but four states away. That's us. You and Nick could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? Yeah, what's wrong with email? I do that I'm all really the time. I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Me too. Oh, hold up! Hold up? Okay. Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's take the scenic route. Fire. Yeah. Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. Subs need me? Oh, she's a YouTuber? Hmm. Well, she is an actor, actress. Uh, how could they live without you? Oh, how'd they even get by for two months without you? I will have you know that I have a very loyal and engaged <laughs> subscriber base. I provide very important and educational lifestyle advice in the form of entertaining and hilarious video monologues. Oh my god, she's they so full of herself. Me. Oh, totally. Oh my god. You're a big deal. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're going to be like really happy or rock. <laughs> my favorite spot. The fire pit? The island. Mad secluded, right? Is... Is that smoke? Hmm. Yep. Should we tell someone? Hmm. It looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H. I burning I think we should still before. check it out. He closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should... We should probably, you know, get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know gonna leave without you well no they're probably like all waiting for us mm -hmm. everyone's waiting for us everyone yeah nick waiting for you all everyone same she's annoying you know no wonder i find emma annoying she's a youtuber just like me <laughs> she has the vibes going on Still though, dumping Jacob because of a long distance relationship. I mean, I've been in LDR for 10 years now, guys. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. Yeah. I got a full tank of gas, so. It worked. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> It's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. Uh, you. <sighs> no boy. Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up on to the... Oh, hey, hey, here, let me, um... Let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Jacob. Cool. Ugh. Yeah, she really does look like a Karen. Nudge. Yeah, sure, let's nudge. Uh, Abby, do you need... <laughs> yeah. Can I... Thank you. <laughs> Just dropped it there. Ang in, ang in. <laughs> Why is she so giddy? Wait, so the one she was drawing was Nick all along? I thought it was Emma. Hey, oh has anyone God, seen dude. Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh. Oh. Podcast. Nice. Yeah, That's they're, cool. They're just cool. I do that all the time, too. What's it about? Um. Is it about me? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? <laughs> you 
think I was listening to a podcast about you. Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. It Both of you are. Look and Smell Like a Butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal he podcast. Liked it. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. Oh. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's <laughs> oh, Quarry. Can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? <laughs> it's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, they're supposedly an old woman who died in a fire uh, a few years back. That's her story. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. <laughs> there are like reports of whispers or whatever mm -hmm. and, and this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Oh. Or kill you. Or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Yeah, man. Cool story, bro. Better than yours. Oh, yeah? You got a cooler one? Oh, no. I wasn't being sarcastic. Uh, I didn't really tell it right. Look, no, no, no. Seriously, dude. I think it just it came out wrong. You got to be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on. Dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, 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 I'm nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. We had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Exactly. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. Well, you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Uh, oh, no fair. Come on, that's like super unchill. Hey, dude, man. I'm like the chillest flipping bro in the whole world, <laughs> man. I just need some tunes for the ride, man. Yeah, man, I just need some tunes, right, man. Enough. Just need a podcast. Five minutes? Like, like five minutes, that's all I need, man. You said no, Dylan. Okay, yeah, I know, but I was just... Meet you at the van, okay? There's something going on with... Uh... Ryan and Dylan? Oh, because uh, I see Dylan trying to so, uh, stand uh, up for Chris, uh, I'm actually Ryan. glad we got a moment to talk. Uh-oh, uh I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing with, with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm going to have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Yeah. I want to eavesdrop. What's happening? The kids are kids. It only be so much to go. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have. Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's a okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Them damn kids. Of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't... I wasn't listening. I, I was just like 
waiting. Like, I mean, I heard. <laughs> uh, I mean, I was. I didn't hear. Oh waiting. my God, Ryan, just We're stop, cool, dude. Champ. Just come on. It's sorry I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing. What you thought I should do, right? Mm. Y you know, listen, uh, whether or not I should like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus. You know, oh. my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it. You know, if I was Ryan and I was trying to like open up to Mr. Hackett about this trouble of mine and I see him, you know, concerned for something else and not really listening to me, I'd be frustrated, but I don't know, man. I just... Yeah, I'll just go concerned Is for now. everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> Looks like something's gonna go on tonight, guys. So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. Mm hmm So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories? Uh, I didn't realize. Sorry. I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to Kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? No, not anymore. Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Come on, I Okay, boomer. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Uh, why? Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Not really. We're all going home. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? He's sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? I actually could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. There they are. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. A lot of paintings about deer. Rem remember the sign with the deers getting killed? Maybe that's the thing that... Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Here's hoping. Maybe that's what Mr. Hackett is trying to go for. I think they're going to do some illegal deer hunting. I never turned it in. You should have turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. You noob. <laughs> I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good, because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. 
Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Ugh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. The fuck, dude? Yeah, no, the fuck, dude? Not both of you. Shit, come on. All right, come dude, on. chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm kids to check everything no, we did it, it should be working yeah well coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is does it oh boy damn it Ooh, this is bad okay okay well, uh, look it's not that big of a deal okay we'll just spend one more night here no no just stop let me think oh boy this is serious He's panicking. Oh boy. Ah! Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Uh huh. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Wait. What? Why? Wait. We have to stay inside until tomorrow? Why? Where are you going? Yeah, why don't they take us? You to trust me. Like I'm trusting you. Can you do that? Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! Oh, man. You know, things could be super easy if you just tell them the truth, but that would... We'll get him in trouble. Ah, oh, man. This is bad juju. Ooh. So, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Oh my god, Jacob. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. You guys are gonna we die. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. You know, we can be insistent, man. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. Oh, you guys are gonna die. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, hey. dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yep. Yeah, I'm in. Nobody's uh, in, objecting. Obviously, my man, Caitlin. I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Okay. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just try trying to freak us out. You know, like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, he did seem freaked out. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, Dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 D dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you uh, you don't want to disappoint daddy. 
Someone's got to give shit, man. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told me to do. You guys are dying. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. Nah, man. All right, let's do this. <laughs> oh, here we go. I told y'all. I think they wanted to do some uh, legal deer hunting. And by deer, I mean anything that freaking moves. Sheesh! Look at that guy. Oh boy. Jesus. Eesh. Wrong with their eyes, dude. Uh huh. Yep. It's hunting time. <laughs> hunting season. <laughs> yep. I don't know, man. I wanted Ryan to be like the responsible one. I oh, was hello. hoping you'd come back to me. And here I am. Hello. Sashiburi. Let's see what you found. Uh, I found a vial. Empty handed. Yeah. You need to look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. We were supposed to find a tarot find card? Me, please. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't, Oh, yeah. I didn't know the fucking part was going to end that soon. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. Oh, boy. <sighs> Look out for my cards. Okay, lady, we'll look out for your cards. I mean, uh, <laughs> thought she was gonna flip out on us for not getting one of her cards. Chapter two: Truth or Dare. Yo, what's up, guys? In the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? Oh, my God. First course, Trole al Jacob. Rich and full body, this rare beefcake hmm. may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. <laughs> well, you suck. Look. Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. <sighs> okay, I'm almost there. One second. Kick the door. Nah, I don't want to kick the door. <laughs> Hi, there we go. And Viola. <laughs> it's your voila. Clip, madam. Yeah, you can keep it. It's not too shabby, huh? Yeah. Took you long Took enough. Took you long enough. Well, I got it open, didn't I? It's okay. It's not a race. Okay. So, if I were a beer. Where would I be hiding? Beep, beep. 
Oh my god. Beep, beep, what beep, are you doing? Beep. Stop. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? I know, right? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. Nobody gives a shit about your beer dar, dude. I'm gonna go over here. Yeah, leave this ass. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. A safe. <laughs> Think it's locked. Don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> Got a safe? Oh. Just need a code. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, jackpot. Hey, uh. Check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it. Mm -hmm. You pour in your vodka. And it's party time. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah, and it yeah. absorbs everything. It's the most everything. fun you can have with a hole in a watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. I've seen a video of it. You pour vodka on a watermelon and it absorbs everything. And then you just eat the watermelon and get shit-faced. Okay, so um, I think this is the best part to uh, end this video because we're almost like an hour in. So guys... Thank you so much for watching part two. Things are about to get really exciting. Hunting season is now on or maybe just a few more hours before hunting season officially starts, but it's coming. And uh, I don't think deer is the only thing on the menu. So for the next part, I'm going to make sure to look for at least one tarot card for the old lady. And um, let's just hope we survive. To be honest, at this point, I don't mind if Emma dies. I don't really mind if... Uh... Yeah, I think at the moment, I just don't like Emma. That's all. Maybe it's a bias because she's also a YouTuber, but there's just something about her. I don't know. She's annoying. That's it. <laughs> we'll try to keep everyone alive. And hopefully, Emma will have her shining moment. Second least favorite, probably Jacob at this point. So, yeah, that's it. So, yep, if you guys want part three, then just get part two to 2,000 likes. And if it does fail, then we'll see each other in my streaming channel. So, let's hope for the first one, okay? Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys next time.